if you're disappointed with the responses from the new ChatGPT 5 and you want to get some of the old models back, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. First off, I want to tell you you're not alone. I've seen hundreds of posts on Reddit about people complaining they don't like this one model for everyone, people begging to bring O3 back, people missing GPT-4 Omni, how GPT-5 is not living up to the hype, the issue with the message limit, even plus users have a 160 message limit every three hours. This user thinks it's a massive downgrade in creativity, even compared to 4.5. And finally, this image was alarming. Based on an offline IQ test, GPT-5 scored a 70, which is one point lower than the old GPT-4 Omni. At the top, we had Claude 4 Opus at 118 and the old O3 Pro and O3 at 116. Now, IQ tests are not always a good indicator of the strength of a model. However, it is one data point and it is concerning. Anyways, if you want to get it back within ChatGPT, you're going to click on your profile down here in the bottom left corner and then settings. Then under general, you're going to toggle show legacy models. This is going to give you some extra options within the model selector. Now, if I go up here, I see GPT-5, GPT-5 thinking and GPT-5 Pro. If I go under legacy models here, we now have GPT-4 Omni. This was the old basic chat GPT model. Hopefully soon they'll also give us options for O3, all the O4 models, and maybe even the 4.5. If you're a developer, you have access to all the older models through the API, O3 Deep Research, O4 Mini, even all of the 4.1s, 4.1, 4.1 Mini, and 4.1 Nano. You can generate outputs with these models in the playground at any time by going to platform.openai.com and then selecting the model in the model picker. Within your AIagent.com, we run AI agents with all of the best models in the world. If you're interested in how AI agents can help streamline your business, I'll leave a link to a video playlist in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.